Now, you are about to witness a hidden secret of Nerites, the Great Nerite Migration. When we placed Nerites on the beach, they started moving en masse upslope, a behaviour that was unrecorded previously. Nerites are charismatic snails from the family Neritidae, commonly found in rocky shore habitats. We collected Nerites off the seawall near Tanamera Ferry Terminal. Normally, they are found hiding in crevices or grazing on rock surfaces. Here is one colourful specimen. Compared to other gastropods like drills and turban snails, Nerites are highly active animals. Here is what they look like underneath. Here, we tried a snail race. 10 Nerites will line up at the starting point. And here we go! As we put them in random directions, this Nera is turning around to face upslope. It can be clearly seen that all Nerites except one move upslope, even the little straggler that went in the opposite direction initially. Now, why would these Nerites move upslope when placed on the beach? We believe that they prefer to seek higher ground as the sandy substrate is not their natural habitat. We hypothesize that the Nerites rely on gravity to find their direction upwards. To see if Nerites move upwards all the time, we place them in a tray with upslope facing four different directions. If they rely only on gravitational cues, they will move upslope regardless of the direction they are facing. Our first experiment is the control, where the upslope direction is oriented towards the vegetation. All the Nerites move upwards as anticipated. Next, we turn the upslope direction to face the sea. Surprisingly, the Nerites appeared confused and moved in a haphazard fashion. In the third experiment, the upslope direction is faced towards the east. Once again, the Nerites did not show any obvious signs of moving upslope. Finally, we tried with upslope direction facing west. The Nerites also did not show complete preference for either side. Ultimately, the experiment results suggested that gravity is not the cue inducing Nerites to move upslope. Despite the outcome, we observed that most Nerites still have the tendency to move towards vegetation and away from the sea. We then tested this prediction on different substrates. First, we placed Nerites on a rock from the seawall, their original habitats, to observe their response on a familiar substrate. All Nerites move in the direction of the vegetation and then over the edge to hide in the crevice underneath. With the Nerites still attached, we flip the rock over. And the Nerites yet again crawl towards the vegetation even though the rock is now angled down slope. We repeated the experiment on artificial tiles and the narrow is moved towards vegetation in both instances.
Well, what could be causing the nerites to move towards vegetation? Perhaps they are moving away from the sound of the sea, or killed by other factors such as light and humidity. We may think we know all about our surroundings, but even the tiny nerite has proven us wrong. Who knew such a common and ordinary creature could still harbor their own secrets?